thank you to everyone who supported my band's lyric video by leaving a comment. We greatly appreciate it. And for those of you who want to still have the replay cast, no questions asked, by leaving a comment on that lyric video, the offer ends this month after November 2018. That offer will cease. So please leave your comments and get cast. Thank you guys so much. We greatly appreciate you. What is up, guys? It's Mr. Studio Girl coming back at you with another Supreme Commander 2 replay. And this is part of the number of replays I've cast in a row. I think I've done, let me see, I think I've done at least five in a row without uh, stopping in between because, like I said, it's going to be a holiday. The Thanksgiving holiday is coming up. And I got this replay from Game replays.org i think i might even might even sat in and watched this when it was being made uh when it was being played that was it was a very good replay uh, so i had to cast it so it's at gamesreplay.org and the map is fields of isis like i said i am tired of open palms you had a week of open palms last week because i just did a couple of games on I, I just cast a couple games on that one so um yeah today it is going to be something different so let's see how the players get on so team one is over here to the west over my left hand where my cursor is going over let's introduce them we got dr crazy i have not seen this guy in a long time spawning in as the blue cyber commander dropping down eco all the things and i want to see what i'm going to come back and see what he builds and his air player. Is this the air player? I'm thinking he's the air player. Something that tells me that, um, yes, I knew it. Uh, he's going land. Yes, he's getting the research stations. And Cobra is also getting a research station. So I don't know who's the air player yet. So Cobra is spawning in as the green cyber commander. He's dropping down one research station. So I'm thinking he might be the air player. But we'll get back and take a look. So over here toward the east where my cursor is going over. We've got the right hand side. We've got team two. Um, is that another research station? Oh my goodness. They're going double land. That would be devastating. We got team two. We got... Spawning in as the purple UEF commander, he's Apex. My goodness, why am I getting tongue-tied? I have not seen Apex in a while. He's a great player. Lord have mercy. <laughs> He'll know what I'm talking about when he sees us. He's spawning in as the purple UEF commander, Apex, doing a triple air, oh, air factory opener, which is the right thing to do against Cybran. The Cybran will have nothing to do against, will not be able to defend against it considering uh, their error comes out much slower. And a double uh, research station opener with an air factory. One air factory that is going to be quite devastating for them. They were not going to be able to handle a triple UEF air rush. Not an air rush, but an air build. And the land player, we got Shade spawning in as a the, the teal Aeon commander. What did she put down? She's putting down a bunch of... Of research stations definitely want to get that research up let's speed this bad boy up now team two could see all the things saw everything they know that dr crazy has four research stations they know that cobra has two research research stations and one air factory that is going to put team one really behind on the air and as you can see, Apex is going right to bomber production, which is the right thing to do. Definitely want to get right in there and support those ground troops. Let's see how many bombers. This is a three. Eh, I might want to at least get five. I want to at least get five of those. Um, here we go. Here's a little battle going on here. Bombers going after the land factory. Not the right target. The engineer is most definitely the right target. Uh, might want to get the heck out of there because I can guarantee you that land factory is going to get an AA very quickly after that factory TML. Yes, there you go. Those bombers definitely want to take out those uncontested uh, mass extractors. Like I said, UEF air is going to be uncontested for a while because there's only two air factories for Cobra to Apex's three. Now... I know it doesn't sound like a huge difference, but let me tell you, uh, UEF Air 
builds much, much faster than everyone else's air. So you can see UEF's, UEF's Air Force just wipe out their opponent's Air Force just so fast. Now, a single air tower, it will do something against a bunch of wasps. Because as we all know, UEF Air has to build separate bombers and fighters. So that's how it's balanced. So you could put down a single anti-air tower and that would be enough. Unless bombers get build, built en masse, what it looks like is being, which is, which looks like is happening now. A bunch of bombers. If we get like 15 bombers, we could definitely one shot those high damage air towers. Now, I like how Shade has a bunch of factories. I would like to see a fourth one right up here. I don't see why that isn't happening. That fourth one right here would definitely cause problems for those factories. For, uh, for Dr. Crazy's factories. Oh, never mind. Those factories are just fine now. Adapters do a great job. And I like this rating going on here by Shade. Shade already has the, uh, sh the Chrome Shield. And is she attempting their opponent to structure detonate? That did not. No structure detonate. Um, the bomber's doing some damage, but pulling back, afraid of the retaliation from the wasps. Now, oh, is this going to happen? Boom! Down goes a bunch of Shades units because she drove a little bit too close to that mass extractor. Now, is that mass extractor going to go down? I think it might. Yes, it's going to go down. That is three mass extractors lost for Team 1 early this early in the game and this mass extractor right here is denied so that's four mass extractors that team one does not have well i take i take it back three uh this one just got built and a point defense which not a bad idea and i like how dr crazy sucking up some delicious yummy yummy mass that is definitely going to help him in the long run rebuilding a mass extractor nicely done Definitely want to, yes, yeah, suck up that delicious yummy yummy mass. That mass, yo. Now, this is a sad thing to see. We could see a bunch of UEF bombers and fighters flying in the airspace of, of Team 1. They don't even care. There is no anti-air on these factories yet. Cobra's rebuilding them. Very nicely done. Uh, repairing it. Definitely want to get a shield up. The shield is now up. Definitely want to get that anti-air. I like how he stopped production on units coming from that factory. That's a smart thing to do. I think Apex is going to start wasting units here. Now, those are shields on the air units. That is the right thing to do. That is a good response. Shields on the Cybran air units. Um, Cobra is now competitive against Apex. Apex is still going to win because numbers beat the quality at the moment. However, it's going to be a lot harder for Apex to win that air battle. Now, fourth air factory going down. I like it for Cobra. How many air factories? That is five air factories for Apex going on. Five air factories and two research stations. So Apex is catching up on the research station game. So we got two mass extractors denied for Team 1. Team 1 is down two mass extractors. Three now because we could see that this mass, ex mass extractor is being rebuilt. And I like Cobra sucking up that delicious yummy yummy mass. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Making That is going to be like a free plane there after sucking up two or three ma uh, <laughs> two or three wrecked, wrecks. Now, I think Cobra is going to perhaps scout no? Okay. Now, Cobra has now training three on his air units. These are very strong air units. Is there any training on... Yes, I think those wasps have some training, maybe? Yes, there's some training on those wasps. So, these are very strong Geminis right now with the shields and the training. Now health has gone on the res on the units. So now 
These are strong wasps. They are much more powerful. And what is Dr. Crazy doing? He's point defense. Okay. He's point defense creeping a Aeon player. Cybran can't do that very effectively. But for some reason, he just took out a factory. I'm kind of weirded out how this is actually working, but adapters are such a powerful unit. Now, I like how Shade is attacking. Shade is pushing in, not just one side, but, well, one side, but teleporting. Taking out some mass extractors. Very nicely done. Three point defense here. Very, very strong. Well, one point defense. Now, two point defense. Now, I think Cobra, five, Cobra just got training five on his air units. Now, these air units are very strong. What is Dr. Crazy going to do about these um, these units entering his base? He's putting down a bunch of point defense. I don't know what they're going to do, how they're going to stop uh, Dr. Crazy. So Dr. Crazy has... I don't know if Dr. Crazy is going to stop that is what, what I was trying to say. He has tactical missile on his units. I think he's going for... On his ACU, he's got tactical missiles. I think he's going for... What would you call that? Nano gun? That is not a bad idea whatsoever. And that is a nicely large amount uh, of uh, adapters. Those are very powerful adapters. Now, there's fish juice here making these point defense completely useless. Except uh, Shade is not being patient right now. She's pushing in pretty hard, getting uh, getting beat up pretty bad. But she's still keeping one at least one fish tooth away and taking out... There's two fish tooths now taking out those point defense. Very nicely done there. Now, it appears that there's some Cobras on the field for Dr. Crazy. A cobra Adapter... And point defense creep is very powerful. Yep, it's like I said, nanobot weapons are going to help melt those units. Oh, he's got overcharge too. So these units are done. So this whole area is gone. Shade does not have the research to deal with this. There's so much happening right here. Shade has units in back of Dr. Crazy's base, wrecking things, just destroying everything. And Shade has to retreat to his her teammate's base. But I think Dr. Crazy is in pursuit. This is a lot of adapters. There's not a whole lot that could be done here. Now, Apex is building an AC-1K. Definitely want to help that bad boy up, but he's putting it down some heavy point defense, which might be able to slow down his opponent's advances. The Shade really should be pushing her units in to maybe take out some of those regular units. Get in there and take out those adapters. That's what you want to do. Shade should teleport in, and if his unit detonates, great. He doesn't have any units. A half-baked... AC-1K just has to sit there and take all those adapter missiles to the face. Um, get your units in there, Shade. Oh, goodness. Shade is getting overcharged. And look how fast her health is going down. And boom! Down goes Shade. Shade is down as Apex is trying to fight off, trying to snipe uh, Dr. Crazy's units with that air. Now, Cobra is trying to support Dr. Crazy the best he could with the units he has. Apex had just got point defense on all his units, but he's getting overcharged. He's hunkered, so he's going to survive this, maybe? Yes. Oh my goodness, Cobra's bombing him, though. And boom! Down goes Apex, so... I see Apex, he's still an active player, I think. He's at least in the Discord channel. Very good player. 
I could have sworn Apex and Shade would have won that. So I'm sorry to cast the match where you and Shade lose Apex, and I'm super sorry for that. But it was such a good game that there was a lot of back and forth, and Dr. Crazy clutched that one out. He pushed in with a very strong ACU push with being supported by adapters, and he's basing in his opponent's base after they're dead. That is very rude. But I like it. Very nicely done. Um, pretty much his entire base is gone. And Cobra couldn't do a whole lot against what his opponent had. Uh, going against UEF as a Cybran air player, it's very, very hard to win. you got to be very smart. You have to be very patient. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, Shade just ravaged. Shade and Apex really just ravaged this whole area. Until Dr. Crazy was able to push in and do some massive damage. So very well played there by Dr. Crazy and Cobra. So guys, like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Favorite it because that helps me out. Um, yeah, where where am I going with that? Comment. Say something, very, say something nice about this video, the players, the commentator, which is myself. And uh, if you want to get your replay cast, no questions asked. Um, comment my band's lyric video because I'm doing this until the end of November where you get your replay cast, no questions asked. Send your good replays to stillspeaks at gmail.com. And, uh, yeah, comment down below, just like I said. And I have a Patreon. If you want to support me monetarily, you most definitely can. If you don't want to, that is okay, too. Um... And where am I? Oh, I'm at that point, guys. Share with your friends, family, and foes because they need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, GG.